Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld, uh, co-founder of RackN, showing you a digital rebar provision Kubernetes video with Terraform. So lots of great stuff. Um, this is something called Crib, Kubernetes Rebar Integrated uh, Boot. And um, so you can start with rebar.digital. If you're interested in Crib, we've been working on documenting it um, originally here, but we've been moving all our documentation to auto-generated, so it's, you can look in either place. Um, most of it's going to end up being here because the system self-documents at this point. Well, it doesn't self-document. It generates this document on its own. And my goal with this is to make it even easier to do a Kubernetes video uh, cluster build. I've done several before. We have some other videos where we show how to take some existing machines and do a Kubernetes build um, using basically a, a, a role. But I want to make it easier and faster. And to do that, we have, uh, we're using Digital Rebar's Terraform provider, which is also in the docs, and you can look up how to do it. And I'm going to go through this in a minute. Uh, what I am want to do is just really jump to the start so that you can watch it go, and then we're going to ex explain how it works. Uh, let's see. First, I need to get to the right screens. Yay. Uh, so this is the Terraform provider. I have defined environment variables in the background with the uh, URL and the, the password for this site. Um, I, can, I, I can show you uh, what one looks like. It looks like a TF uh, var uh, API URL. That's one of the variables that's defined and that's, my, that's, the URL, that's the IP address URL of the endpoint. Um, and then all I have to really do is say Terraform apply. I'm going to initialize first, just to be safe. And then I'm going to apply. I could plan. I've been testing this. It's pretty safe. It's saying a whole bunch of stuff. I'll explain what we're doing in a minute. I'm just going to say yes to kick off the process. And in the background here, it's going to run for a while. We are creating these new machines. Uh, and this is all in packets, so we're actually using Packets API to create machines dynamically on the fly using Terraform. And then once they're created, Terraform grabs them. We have a new pooling feature, so it only grabs those four, even though all of those machines are Terraform pooled machines. And uh, now it's literally taking those four machines I just created and putting them through uh, Kubernetes workflow. No additional steps. It will go all the way through and create a Kubernetes work, uh, Kubernetes implementation and finish. And uh, Terraform will say it's done when it's done. So at this point, if I go back to Terraform, it's in the still, it's just creating. And it's going to go through and, and just run the process. Um, I can, right now I'm waiting for the machines to be available, so they're waiting for discover. And one of the things that we've done with this is uh, instead of reusing, uh, my screen's a little lower res than I'm used to. Instead of reusing some of these uh, reset, these hard-coded things, this actually creates its own workflow. So it takes some risk out of you modifying or having to build things. It actually builds the workflow. It builds the profile that you need. So it's uh, crib auto. And then it's going to put all that information in here and do the right thing uh, for that. So. Uh, pretty much a complete system. You're going to go all the way through and then tear it down. One thing to remember is when you destroy, it does not destroy the, uh, the certificate, so you have to still do that manually. Um, there's some other videos about how we, we take that process, but literally create, destroy, done. Very simple. Uh, so I want to show you, and if you want to see this Terraform, Uh, it is in Digital Rebar Provision Content, Crib, sorry, Integrations Crib has this uh, plan that I'm about to show you. Over here, this is the plan. And one of the things that, that I've tried to do with this is actually call out all the variables. So if you want to override names or anything like that, just specify the TF variables like I showed you or pass them in on the command line. If you want bigger machines in packet, you can just change, override this to use a bigger machine. This is a tiny, so the testing stuff doesn't, doesn't, isn't, isn't for big spenders. You can go build a much beefier cluster just by overriding that value. And then it builds 
the plan. So in Terraform, the DRP provider has to have its password set. And then from here, you get to do, um, this actually builds the profile that we need. So it puts the cluster values in, builds the workflow that we need, puts all the stages in that we're supposed to be. There's even some, some graphics. Uh, then it creates a raw machine. Raw machine is what goes to the packet API and creates a machine. And notice it sets the Terraform uh, flags, the parameters that are necessary in Terraform. Uh, and so it will go ahead and make a machine into a pool of Terraform manageable machines. And then as soon as that's done, there's a dependency so that it waits until the machines are built. And then it will grab those machines and turn them into a Terraform, put them through that workflow, and then wait until that workflow is complete. Uh, so all of that basically is gonna happen automatically from Terraform just doing its thing. And then when it's done, it'll give you uh, the command to pull the crypt profile out uh, at the end. And you can just say, run this command and kube cuddle go. Unless you're not a kube cuddler and then use whatever, how you wanna say it. I'll talk to my cat. Um, and that's it. So you literally have uh, this one plan. It does its thing. It builds a beautiful Kubernetes cluster with no action at all. And so it's literally going through doing the thing. So now it's electing a master. Uh, you'll see it'll change the icons as it, as it figures out who the master of the cluster is um, and finish up. And the way this is structured, actually, the, the workers, the nodes come up before the master does because there's some post configuration steps the master is going through. Um, really, really darn quick. Uh, so I'm going to take a break uh, and put the video back on when this thing has, has finished. I'll be right back. We're nearly done, so I jumped back in. That was two minutes of wait time. <laughs> so if I check in on the master, get some live update and see what's going on. Um, Oh, literally just finished. So here's the admin config file. Um, it's doing its uh, join scripts. Looks like it's pulling some inventory. Uh, so if I go back over here, literally two minutes <laughs> additional time, uh, and you've got the final uh, configuration done. It's just doing some settings, making sure everything's copacetic. If I go over to my crib auto profile, uh, it's actually got the metadata flag, so I can just click here, download my kube admin, my kube cuddle command, and run that, and I'm done. So start to finish, including getting the machines from Packet, provisioning them, installing Kubernetes, five, 10 minutes less. Um, pretty hard to, to make it much faster or simpler. We're gonna try. But, uh, oh, and then over here, uh, this just finished. And so here's my output. Uh, I could just run this command. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm gonna need to look at what's, what, what I'm doing. I'm trying to make that work. Uh, huh. Should be simple. I'll fix that thought. Um, but literally run that, then kube cuddle it, and we're done. Done and done and done. Um, and actually look here, here's our exact time. Seven minutes, 24 seconds, zero to a fully functioning Kubernetes infrastructure on bare metal. And then when I'm done with it, uh, let, me, let me just do that. Terraform, destroy it. Gotta clean up after yourself. Boom, uh, I gotta agree. And then uh, at this point, all of that, the <laughs> parameter just went away, so it's uh, screen yanked it off, and all those machines are gone. Back to plain old Kubernetes, or plain old digital rebar, without my, my instant uh, Terraform. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please, try this yourself. This is open source community stuff. It just uses KubeADM under the covers and digital rebar. We are making it super easy for you to replicate and play. Help us build the docs, help us build the Terraform, help us make this an even easier experience. Thanks a lot.